community wants a federal investigation of a murder in Dallas that police are now calling a hate crime. We're looking at newly released video of the deadly Christmas Eve shooting at a tire shop on South Buckner. Bart. Police say the man with the gun claimed he was both Jewish and Christian and used his weapon to target Muslims. Zahid Arab is first on Fox 4 News with reaction from friends of one of the victims. Zahid. Well, Rich, as you mentioned, local Muslim leaders are calling for a federal probe on this Dallas police investigation, a hate crime where a man that claims he's Jewish targeted a tire shop owner all because he's Muslim, in the process taking the innocent life of an aspiring tattoo artist. At Bold Stroke Studios, the word hate may as well be a tattoo. I didn't believe it. Josue Segura thinks about the word a lot. It's what took his best friend Enrique Garcia's life. He's a very happy man. He didn't drink, didn't smoke. He, uh, he just wanted, um, he was very passionate about his work. He just wanted to be the best. That's what he said every day. On Christmas Eve, the 25-year-old was at Omar's Wheels and Tires in Pleasant Grove getting a tire fixed when police say 30-year-old Anthony Torres showed up, asked for air, but did the unthinkable. Just pulled the gun out, started unloading. Torres, seen in surveillance video at the bottom of the screen, wearing a yarmulke, opens fire, killing Garcia, the customer, shooting an employee in the chest and grazing two others. I heard a second set of gunshots that went off and I figured it was Omar. The owner, who has a CHL, fired back, striking the suspect several times. Torres took off but was eventually arrested at a nearby hospital. But the tire shop owner, who asked we not use his name or show his face, says the first run-in with Torres was two weeks before the shooting. He said, I will come back to all Muslim people. And we called 911 and Officer come and let that happen. And it was clear as day that it was a hate crime. If it was a different opposite way, it would be all over the news. People would be like, oh, a Muslim did this. It was a terrorist tag and all that. But a Jewish a man do it, it's not a terrorist. It's just a crazy guy did it. On Friday, Dallas police classified it as a biased crime. This attack is a clear hate crime that was acted upon out of the perpetrator's negative bias and hatred in response to the Muslim identity of the tire shop owners. The local chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations is now calling for a federal probe to make sure Torres isn't part of a much bigger problem. Maybe this person's particular um, affiliation or background may lead to uh, something that could uh, further secure our community if we were to know about it. Josue agrees. His friend's empty station is proof of the potentially permanent consequences. Regardless of how things went down, you know, I don't think it's, it's, a, it's never a good thing when a 25-year-old loses their life. Torres is in custody, charged with murder, held on a half million dollar bond. Meanwhile, we just received word from Dallas police that they've been in touch with their federal law enforcement partners in terms of uh, as part of this investigation. So, Rich, at this point, it looks like the local Muslim leaders asked for this to happen. And in a matter of, a matter of hours, it did.